Hi. We are with Staff Sergeant Geyser, and you have uh, interesting experience in the military. You're like Michael Jordan. You <laughs> retired and then you came back, or not retired, but you were in the military. Correct. Then uh, you weren't in the military and then you came back to it. So um, tell us about your service. Like, when did you start and uh, uh, what did you go through? Well, I started in 1993. I went through basic, AIT, all that wonderful stuff. Uh, went to Korea, Fort Riley, did a tour in Bosnia. And um, then after that, I went up to Fort Lewis, Washington. And then um, we had our first child and my wife was missing home. So uh, we decided to get out. <clears throat> so I uh, ETS from active duty. But uh, to continue my service, I went into uh, the reserves and uh, changed my MOS. Then uh, before I got out, two months for uh, two months after I got out, September 11th happened. Right. So in uh, the MOS, I went in to be military police. Then um, after that, <clears throat> I was in a garrison support unit, and all we did was go to Fort Drum and take over the garrison. And uh, I went to deploy. I went to do what I really wanted to do. And so uh, it took me a little about two and a half years to get back to active duty because I was prior to service and mm -hmm. uh, everything else. But eventually, I made it back to active uh, service in 2004. And uh, deployed to Afghanistan. That's pretty neat. So you've been in Bosnia and you've been in Afghanistan. Correct. And uh, you know, there's a lot of listeners out there. You might have a similar sort of situation. You're thinking about going back to school or chasing that career that you had but don't have anymore. Going back to something difficult once again. So, do you have any tips for someone like that? Who? Well, <clears throat> it's it's all about your drive and what you. I come from a military family. And always wanted to serve. I knew what I wanted to, to do when I when I grew up, so that drive was always in me. And um, being patriotic, and I think a lot of people nowadays they kind of there's so much going on in today's world than back in 1993. Right. So there's a lot of distractions nowadays, and you know social media and, and everything else. People there's a lot of options out there. So people think they want to do this, and they get bored, or they try to do something else. But <clears throat> always listen to your inner self what your true passions are and uh you're always going to find something sometimes it takes a while <clears throat> sometimes it's a it's a rocky road to get to get there which i'm going through with my oldest son he's a sophomore in college and now he's thinking about changing studies and everything and it's it's what he truly uh, trying to teach him what he truly wants what he really feels in, in his heart and his soul so when you have when you get in a mindset like that it makes it a little bit easier getting over the humps and the obstacles right. that are in the way right. so uh, that's a great message i mean you're right in today's world it's like look squirrel you know yes. everything's just <laughs> distracting and um you just have to listen to yourself listen to what your drive is and there are going to be bumps and obstacles along the way you got to go through it you have a great support system your wife was also military that's not to interrupt but that's a huge huge uh <clears throat> statement you said is a support system right uh, i think in the military we always have a support system uh regardless of, through your chain of command <clears throat> you know the wives have uh you know uh you know their support system and everything else uh, but when veterans get out of the military it's it's right. all gone <clears throat> so the interesting thing is you found your support system. The support system may not come to you. I mean, it may not, like, your wife is military, but you had to go find a support system. So you guys can do that too. If you're looking to go back to school, you're looking to get that advancement, whatever you're looking to do, go find that support system. Listen to yourself, what you want to do, and uh, you can do it. Can I, just a real short story. <clears throat> when I got out of the military, I was lost. You know, that transitional is like, you know, I was negatively retired out of the military. So it's like, what do I do now? What do I do now? So I was losing my way. You know, it, I, I got bored easily. I became a volunteer firefighter. Then I started volunteering. But it wasn't wasn't my thing. It wasn't that drive. It wasn't. I linked up with a, or, a veteran organization that helped homeless veterans. So I started doing that. <clears throat> and uh, when I was doing that, I found out it was helping me. To so volunteering. So to you volunteer, volunteer to volunteering. Help others and it helped you. Correct. Okay. So when you're, when you're helping other veterans or, you know, helping, you know, other people, a lot of times it helps you too when you start listening and yeah. realize that you know there is a support system and uh, a lot of people that want to help or, or do help <clears throat> uh, a lot of times they need help too so when you're helping someone else you're actually helping uh, yourself also that's important I mean that's a very good way to find a purpose find that support system I mean I personally do that with the battle continues 
and uh, meeting great guys like you. And then you have an organization, if you want to talk about that. Um, <clears throat> my organization is called uh, Ultimate Veteran Adventures. What we do, we take veterans all throughout the country, send them on hunting and fishing uh, trips. And the reason uh, we do that is, I've always been an outdoor guy, but a lot of veterans come to the outdoors. You know, it's uh, serenity, their peace, their, uh, their whatever they feel comfortable. Right. Uh, and, uh, so we figured it'd be a good way to get veterans out, put a smile on their face, make them feel at home. And uh, I think we, we all know this as veterans, when you're around other veterans, you feel good. Um, it's, it's nice to talk and communicate and just you feel relaxed. Right. So we're just trying to keep that going for veterans um, so right. they feel more and more relaxed. So if you want to run a 5K or a 10K or go hunting, fishing, any of these outdoor activities, uh, Chris is your guy here. Yeah. And then, um, so find that support system, listen to what you want to do and uh, help others. And that's a way that you can stay strong through all this. The battle continues. The battle always continues.